Hey guys, just a quick video here on the uh, stator coil on this bike. I am uh, testing it here with the meter and uh, I am getting kind of an odd reading. What I'm doing here is I have it disconnected, um, sort of, and uh, the wire is still connected, sort of, as it's unraveling here. And coming apart but I have bare copper right here so let me see here if I can show you what I've been doing I'll put you on the meter there you guys see that I think you guys can um, so where's my probe here it is okay I'm going to actually to ground on one side of this this wire is falling off because that can't be a good thing but we'll stick it back in here okay right through the coil I'm not getting, I was getting something. Now I'm getting nothing. Okay, that's touching the wires. So I, what would you guys say that it's got a broken, broken lead in it? Because what I'm doing is I'm just touching the open copper wire. Maybe I'm not getting a good ground, hang on. Not really too impressed with this ground. I was getting some readings. Now I'm getting nothing. There, now I'm getting a reading. 2.1, 2.0 ohms. Um, which is very odd that I won't get it through the wire. I don't know, maybe the coating is still on here enough. <clears throat> what I'm doing is uh, spinning around here, maybe you guys can see. Where are we? Up here. Okay. So what I've got is I've got the the wire on the coil, I've got it grounded over here to the side of it, and I'm touching it here, right where the copper's peeling off, and I'm not getting anything, same thing, zero. But if I touch it over here, then I'm getting 2.0 where it's soldered on. So that's kind of interesting that it's actually showing there where the copper's peeled away. I don't quite understand that. So maybe one of you guys could tell me why it's doing that. But I get, I do get resistance there. Let me just try pulling it away here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I did pull away from it. It must be there's a good enough coating still on the wire. But I'm getting two ohms of resistance um, on this. Unless it's going through my fingers, which it could be too, I suppose. But yeah, straight up two ohms of resistance passing through this. I don't think that's going to be adequate enough to do what we need to do. So, uh, okay, now this is a uh, different um, stator coil that I've had off a different machine. Now I'm going to try to get this in the shot. So maybe you guys can see all of it. I don't know, it looks like we're getting a lot of reflection on there. But maybe you guys can see that. Um, where I'm testing is I've got a ground right here. And which is grounded out. And then I am touching this end of the wire. Trying to. You guys get that? Now I'm showing 
550 ohms, 600 ohms, 700 ohms, 20 ohms. It's all over the place. I mean, I can't. 11 ohms, 23, 24, 26, 1,000. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this coil. But um, 987. Yeah, it's going crazy. So maybe somebody could tell me there it goes up to a thousand, thirteen hundred, sixteen, eighteen hundred, nineteen. Maybe I'm blowing it up. There it goes, it goes flat, and then it starts all over again. It starts creeping up fifty. So I don't know, guys. I'm getting all kinds of crazy readings, and that's right off the plate. That's just going to the ground on it. This is not touching anything. So that shouldn't be a problem. 16. Point, one point. It's all over the place. So if you guys got any ideas, let me know.